Hey everyone, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today I'm going to show you exactly how I make this curly hair, well, straight. This is the first time I've straightened my hair since I've gotten my hair cut, so let's get started. So I'm going to start off by deep conditioning my hair. I just got off the shower, and now I'm going to use my diffuser to just dry my hair a little bit faster. Now I'm going to section my hair in small sections and I'm going to start to comb out my hair just to get rid of all my beautiful curls. And then I'm going to grab my blow dryer and blow dry anything else that is still a little bit wet and I'm going to comb and blow dry straight down just to help it start to get in the straighter form. Now remember when using any type of heat, it is best to use some type of heat protectant. I'm using a Garnier Fructis style new sleek and shine flat iron protector, which is a straightening mist with argan oil. So here's the halfway point of straightening. I made this little fro and I had to stop and do a quick little dance break because I was feeling it. But now I'm going to section off my hair again, get the little part in the back. I'm going to straighten that first using another heat protectant. This is by Shea Moisture. It's their 10-in-1 renewal system. It's their hair and scalp serum. And this is a heat protectant. It's supposed to hydrate, smooth, and shine the hair. So now I'm going to grab a little piece by piece and just try to straighten one time over it. It's best if you only go over it once to avoid any heat damage, but might have to get the ends, you know, one more time. But if you can, the less times you go over it, the better. Now, for the record, before the heat police come after me, the only reason I'm straightening my hair is because I was really curious to see how my hair would look straight at this length before I, one, grow it out, and two, start the inversion method. So I will be starting the inversion method next week and I just think it's pretty anti-productive to be trying to grow my hair if I'm going to be adding heat to it. So this will probably be the first and last time I straighten my hair for a very long time. And the last step, I'm going to add a little bit more oil just to give it a little more shine. So here it is. Here is my final look with my straight hair. Now you and I both know what it looks like straight. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please remember to subscribe. I post new videos every Sunday, so I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.